Number 222. Of the 200 students at College T majoring in one or more of the sciences, um, one of, 130 of them are in chem. Okay, so we basically have a, a Venn diagram where you have the total amount is inside this square. Let's say this is the chem box and this is the bio box. So 130 of them are in chem and then in bio 150. Then it tells you more information. So if at least 30 of them are in neither one, that means they're in the outside box. So that, that means this area has at least, you know, at least 30. Then it says, okay, then the number of students majoring in both, that means this area. So how many of them are in here? That's the final question. What's this? Okay, so if there are 200 students total, so if this were 200 total, then this 200 minus this 30 would get us 200 minus the 30 would get us 170 students. So of these 200, 170 students are majoring in one of these guys, uh, in one of these majors. So there's 170 students, but then there's a total of 130 plus 150 equals 280 majors, right? So there's 280 majors. Well, you know, obviously if, okay, so if each of the 170 students majored in just one major, then you would get 170 majors. But instead of 170, you actually get 280. So the difference there, 280 minus the 170, this is the number of people who are actually double majoring. So that's basically, you know, 110. So 110 people, um, this, this number is actually describing this shaded area. So this shaded area is 110. So if this is 110, obviously 150 minus 110, then 40 of them are only majoring in just bile and not chem. And then 130 minus 110, 20 of them are here. But 110 are double majoring. So that gets us to either 110 to 130, which is D, or 110 to 150, which is E. So 110, and that's assuming that at least 30 people are on the outside, like they're not majoring in, in uh, either of these guys. Now, what's the upper limit? Well, we're told there are 130 total chem and 150 total bio. The maximum number that could double major would have to be the lower number, 130. So, it, you know, you can't have 150 people double majoring, otherwise it would exceed the 130 limit for, for chemistry majors. So the common sense answer tells us that 130 is the upper limit. And so that's why answer choice D is what we want here. Answer choice D, 110 to 130 describes the range of the number of people who can double major. 110 being the lower limit as described with the at least 30 people on the outside and then 130 being the upper limit as described by the minimum of the two numbers 130 and 150. Okay so let's let's look at concepts. This is a typical Venn diagram question. You have one circle here, one circle here, and then there's overlap. Keep in mind the circles are you know never drawn to scale so just because you overlap a little bit it doesn't mean that the middle overlap portion cannot be very big it can be very big or it could be very small or it could be zero um, you don't know but when you just draw it you just draw it like this for argument's sake then you put a box around it so that you show this is the entire scope of what you're talking about and the question tells you where there's there's total 200 students of these 200 students uh, somehow you know, you have 130 uh, chemistry majors, 150 bio majors, some of them are double majoring, uh, and we're told that we have an, an assumption where at least 30 of them are, are neither majors. So if neither of them are major, if 30 of them are majoring in other stuff, then that means 170 students must be in, you know, making up this crowd. Right, so if 170 of them are making up this crowd, then that means that, well, if each student had one major, 
then you would have 170 meters. But we're told that if you add this number up, 130 plus 150, you'll get the 180. Well, that exceeds the 170 limit by how much? It exceeds it by 110. So that means 110 has to be one of the limits on the answer choice. And only answer choice D and E have that. Between this, these two, uh, the upper limit, 130, using your common sense, as the lower of the two because uh, you can't have 150 double majors. You can only have the lower of the two um, in terms of number of double majors. So the answer here uh, turns out to be answer choice D. So as a recap, we're basically given a Venn diagram. So you always want to draw it out. Venn diagram overlapping circles. Always remember to put the uh, box around it just so you know that there's um, there must be some numbers that are outside of these circles. And the question asks you, well, what's this shaded area? What's the overlap if this outside area is at least 30? And we're told there's 200 on the, on the total outside. So basically, well, if you're going to give us this kind of data, this piece of information, we're going to have to use it and combine it with the 200 and figure out what one of the limits is. And it turns out that, well, of the 200 minus 30, 170 students, these guys make up um, 280 majors. And that seems really weird because that means a lot of them must be double majoring. How many of them? Well, it's basically however much you exceed 170 by. And that tur turns out to be uh, the difference is 110. So that's, that's the difference, 110. And between D and E, you use your common sense and you find that 130 is the upper limit because only 130 can double major. You can't have 150 of them double major. So that's why answer choice D is the answer.